What's happening, good people? If you haven't seen our previous video where we actually demoed the Boas Katana, we kind of did it preemptively for this video. It's been lurking around in our backdrops for a while, depending on the various um, type, how long you've been here and seen what we've done to the whole studio. But if you haven't also seen our other video where we got the Strich guitar, it came with a little practice amp. So we're gonna AB between the Boas Katana and that little amp. Gonna basically do noon, three o'clock, and then maxed on all of them, just so you can get a general reference. Just gonna use the uh, the Telecaster here, and uh, just use the the neck pickup, and the end we'll do uh, a quick little demo of the humbuckers. The humbuckers are probably gonna push the amps pretty well, so the most clarity you're probably gonna get is out of the single coils here. So we're just gonna start off with everything on the clean channels of both amps and just do a little quick little playthrough of that. Also, we have them both pretty much the same distance away. It's about two feet from a Shure SM57, kinda in line with both amps. So you're gonna get a lot better sound representation from the last time we did it where it was on top of the amp over there, where a nice little Christmas tree is, and the mic is was right here. So it's gonna be more in line. So like if you're putting this on a desktop, this is what it's mostly gonna sound like to you. All right, now we're gonna kick in the drive channel uh, or the drive button on the stretch amp and it'll be the crunch sound on the um, Boss Katana. Boss has one more, the brown sound. So let's compare the two. I need to get an assistant so I can do all the switching. All right, so we'll do everything at the three o'clock position.
Check out the drives. Drive on the stretch and crunch on the Boss Katana. Again, the boss has one more. Let's go up to the uh, brown sound. I can't believe something comes out of that so small. That's not even maxed out. So we're gonna max them all out. Probably still do the humbucker test at the end just so we could say we did it, but I think we're already seeing where there's a pretty much a uh, winner. With these little amps, I don't know if anybody wants to address the uh, elephant in the room. Is anybody gonna address that? What? The elephant. What elephant? Your boy ain't right. He ain't my boy. We've gone through this before. He has your legs. They kind of all look the same. I think they might be almost from the same manufacturer. All right, so we are now maxed out on every dial on the amp and we're doing a clean sound on the stretch. Check out the drives. And wait, there's more. The Boss Katana has a brown sound. Yeah, I mean, for good measure, we'll throw some humbuckers in there, but we already know which one you're gonna get. All right, we got some humbuckery goodness for you from this uh, Firefly Explorer over here. Everything's still maxed out, and we're starting off with the stretch on the clean. Be good if I turn the volume up. Thank you. 
definitely uh, kicks with humbuckers, but I don't think you can go wrong for the price of going for the Boss Katana Mini. I think it's $99. You can find them sometimes. I think I mine, got mine for like $89 on a sale. There'll be a link down below where you can find one, but obviously you know where you can get a Boss Katana Mini. The uh, little stretch amp, if that's all you got, if you're getting a package, not so bad. It's gonna get you, you know, something that you could use for practicing purposes. But if you have a small room, small apartment, I highly suggest that you upgrade to the Boss Katana. It has so much wide range of volume. It fills up this room here, it's pretty nice. And the, the tone, it's unbeatable. If you're just looking for something to amplify your sound so you're not hearing the resonation of the strings when you're playing, you can crank that um, stretch amp. The good thing about the stretch amp is that it's rechargeable, whereas the Boss Katana, you have six AA batteries or you can get a power supply for it and plug it into the wall. But the power, I think they both last seven hours on their respective charging. So something for you to check out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. You've been all a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.